Today is Friday, March the 23rd, 2018. I pray that God will speak to your heart today as we conclude this discussion we've been having for a few weeks of the I Am God. I'm reading today out of Isaiah 43 and verse 11, and this is what it says. It says, I, even I, am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. <laughs> Listen, you, you have the greatest news in the world and where the intent of God is that we share this so that others might know the power of God in their lives. See, here is the I am, the God of the universe, the Lord God Almighty who controls all things and who desires to control us and give us eternal life. We all need a God who knows us, a God who cares about us, a God who's intense and who wants to intervene and a God who is present in our need and is powerful and who can make things happen. That's the I am God. I am God. I am your God, the God who can make it happen for you. The I am today is Jesus, the Son of God, who has come to us to take away our sin, to dwell us for eternity, assisting us to live life to the fullest. You see, the world thinks they've got all of life by the tail, and they're enjoying life. But actually, when they live in sin, they're miserable, and they're looking for an answer. On the outside, it may appear to be rosy for them, but inside, there's a turmoil going on. You've resolved that issue when you came to God. Jesus, the I Am, the God who lived among us, is the Lord who revealed life as it was intended to be lived. He defeated the demons of despair which deplete us, and he vanquished death and its power, and he is alive, and he is the door and the way and the truth to life. And he says, anyone who comes to the Father must come by me. You see, today you and I have this message of the I Am God, the I am who, who said in all of struggle, all the struggles of your life, I am to you what you'll need me to be. All that's left for us to determine what we will do with the I am who has come to us. Not only what we'll do with him personally, but will we share the I am God with others? Will we tell them what has happened to us? Not that our struggles are over, not that our pain has ceased, but that the God who loves us so much, who sent his son to die for us, cares about them just as much as he cares about us. John Ogilvy shares a few questions, I think, which are extremely important. Let me ask them. Do you believe that Jesus is who he says he is? Is he truly God with you and therefore Lord over all of life's circumstances, able to marshal all power in heaven and earth to meet your needs? Do you really believe that Jesus performed miracles in the physical, emotional, and spiritual struggles of people? Do you dare to believe today that he can and will perform these same miracles in your life? Can he who is the creator, the sustainer, and the innovator of all that happens make things happen in your life? Are you willing to ask him to be the triumphant I am in your specific struggles? So as I've said to you today that he came to seek and save those that are lost and we're to bear that message, I'm also saying to you in your struggles, do you believe he's the I am God? What are you struggling with today? What have you battled with? What have you had a consistent battle with in your life you seem not to, to, to handle? You seem to fall to that temptation or, or you seem to be crushed by this struggle on a regular basis. Listen, can you imagine how Jesus would handle this? The I am God. <laughs> Can you imagine? Affirm to yourself right now. Uh, go ahead and affirm that he knows about this struggle in your life, that he cares about the struggle you're in, and that he has come to help you right now. The I am God has come to help you in your struggle right now. Anticipate, anticipate that he will make a way through this struggle. Praise him as he unleashes the resources, the potential, and the people to help you come through this struggle triumphant. See, who is the I am to you today? We've been talking about this for three days. The I am God is the same God who was with Moses to deliver the children of Israel. He was the God who was with Paul and Silas in the prison 
in jail and they begin to sing psalms of praise to him at night. He's the same God who was with John the Revelator in the Isle of Patmos when he was banished. He is your God. He is the I Am. And he will meet you in your struggle today. Oh, Father God, we praise you right now that you are able abundantly above what we ask or think to make us triumphant. Help us with the choices we make so we'll move to the victory that you have for us. We glorify you. You are the I Am God. Amen. He who is the Alpha and the Omega is with you. He who rules over the universe is with you. The I am God is your God. You are in good hands. You are blessed.